Hey everyone, it's Amanda. I'm back again today with another process video. Today I am using the Grand Bazaar collection from Basic Grey and I'm just using a um, one large sheet of the paper and the rest are from the 6x6 pad. And I'm scrapbooking uh, this photo here which is of a barong which I took in Bali. Um, they're kind of like I guess the equivalent of you know the Chinese dragons like the dancing lions or whatever they are um, it's kind of like that but they're for temple ceremonies they have um, a special kind of religious meaning um, to the Balinese people um, the Hindu um, people anyway so I have just started off um, with the 6x6 pad and gone through and selected um, a few different pieces that I think will work with this photo. I didn't have a firm plan when I started out, so that's why there's a lot of messing around. But finally I come up with an idea. And you'll notice through this video a couple of times like I jump right forward. It's because I kind of went off and did other things and then came back and forgot to start the video. <laughs> uh, so also there's kind of long periods where I'm just sorting through embellishments so I kind of cut that out otherwise you would have been looking at this for like 20 minutes and that's a bit boring anyway so as you can see I've jumped right forward here um I'm using this um sticker from the accent sheet just to ground that centerpiece and I'm using the wood veneer um pieces from the collection and they're really beautiful like they're dark brown and they have gold screen printing on them like they're really stunning and they work really perfectly with my photo and I'm doing my layout quite symmetrically at this point I'm just using my tape runner to adhere that wood veneer down it seems to hold it perfectly well and some of these gold um, I don't know, die cuts they're all together on a sheet you kind of need to trim them up a little bit because they've got pokey bits where they join together but as you see it's very symmetrical um, at this point very geometric but once I start adding some more embellishments I break away from that a little bit so I am using um, pretty much all the embellished bits and pieces of all the embellishments like this sticker sheet the accent sheet that comes with the collection the wood veneer the gold die cuts and then just the ephemera pack so there's really everything on here oh I think I even have um, what are they? Um, the little enamel flowers it all gets thrown on there in the end <laughs> so um, at this point I decide I want to have photo corners to ground out the page and I pick out this yellow paper it really doesn't look right and um, I chose that because it matched the little favorite sticker and the story behind the favorite is I really I love the barongs and I love it when there's a temple ceremony and they carry them down the street like I just adore it and I always have to take photos of it and it's like one of my favorite things in Bali so um, that's why favorite is on there and um, I guess I can tell you a little bit about them each village has their own barong so um, when there's a temple ceremony at a big temple they bring them all together from each village they carry them along um, some villages are further away from others so sometimes they're stuck up on the back of like a truck and are sailing along the street with all their long kind of shaggy fur sailing behind them um, yeah I just love them I guess some people would find them scary but um, they're good like they're good souls I think um, sorry not souls spirits they're good spirits and they're there to protect um, protect you Anyway, so I've added some flour from the chipboard sheet and here I am fiddling with my embellishments again, just trying to choose some pieces to go together. I'm going to put some flowers around the outside. One of the things they do do with the barongs for special occasions is they kind of thread um, flowers into their, I guess, mane, for want of a better word. Um, yeah, so they thread flowers and things through their mane. So I thought that was kind of very fitting. Um, I kind of once I get here I get really carried away like I just feel like I need to add more and more stuff um, which I don't know maybe that's not really me maybe it is I don't know I just felt like I was getting really carried away but I like how it came out in the end so I guess that's the main thing and here I am digging through the embellishments again I just seriously spent ages going through these embellishments um, you think by now I would have known exactly what was in there 
I really just keep moving the embellishments around. I think you can see I've added some of those um, enamel flowers there and stuck down to make the flower clusters. And then I'm just using this transparency and sticking it down with some of the diamond glaze that I like to use on my transparencies. I add just a couple more touches to that middle section there. I put, um, I think they're like little gold chevrons. You can see them at the top left hand side there. I'm just gonna, um, stick them on either side and I'm just continuing with the like symmetry geometric shape so like I said even though it's not the same on both sides it still balances out um then once I've done that I have that trapped space between the photo and the flower on the left hand side um like it all looks it looks like yeah I was going to put that there but it just looks wrong. So I've balanced it out, but then I've got that space. So I end up using another one of the chipboard flowers and just cutting it down and tucking it in behind the photo. So it kind of looks like the flowers are coming out from around the photo. And then I am going to use the uh, little wood veneer flower I was playing with at the start there. You can see the top there at the right hand side I have that fox. I really really love these wood veneers and that fox is so gorgeous and you'll see at the end I hold it up so you can see. I've actually put a brooch back on it so I'm, instead of using it on a page I'm going to wear it as a brooch because I think it's kind of cool. I use the uh, mini alphas for my title. I did get the normal alphabets for this collection but they're very brown like I don't know I don't really like them they're not I don't know they're just not me um I was all excited when I bought them online but then when I got them in person I'm just like no I don't think I'm going to use these I'm not sure what I'll do with them maybe I'll give them away um something like that anyway I highly doubt that I will use them Okay, so once I've got the title down, I want to fix up the top corner because I'm still going with my symmetry thing and the flower down the bottom corner, it just kind of throws it all off. Like it's very heavy, your eye goes straight to the bottom corner. So I decide I'm going to put a photo corner up the top, um, which was an idea I was playing with back at the start. And I end up, after just having my little rant about brown things, I end up using a piece of brown paper just to tuck in the corner there. I put it flush at first but it doesn't look quite right so I move it to put a bit of the orange around the edge and I want to add a touch of gold just to even it out with the flower. I look at the die cuts first um, but that's a little bit too shiny so I just end up going with another piece of the veneer and then once all that is down I'm going to add some black mist splotches. Uh, so this was kind of a complicated layout for me. It took quite a while to put together. Um, bit over an hour like quite a bit over an hour but mainly oh there's my brooch anyway well um yeah but main most of the time was me just fussing around sorting through embellishments so I'm going to finish up with some stills thank you so much for joining me today um I really appreciate all your comments and I hope that you will join me again next time thanks bye <laughs>